DK Oldies used to be a household name that everybody enjoyed to talk about, but has now turned to the dark side and has became a Sith Lord. More and more people are starting to recognize DK Oldies' name, and uh, not for good reasons. Reasons being that they are saying on their website that they refurbish their consoles, but don't actually refurbish their consoles. Uh, many people, such as Jacob R., will open up consoles that they have bought from DK Oldies. Excuse me. Uh, that I bought from DK Oldies and will see that the thermal paste, if it's like a newer console, thermal paste has not been uh, replaced. Uh, it's just overall really dirty. It's really dusty. Uh, and so really, they just clean up the outsides and then they just ship them out. Meet our main anime protagonist. This is an ex-employee from DK Oldies. As far as I'm aware, he did work there. Uh, but I could be totally wrong about this. Um, but yeah, he had a video up recently about how, you know, just kind of like giving an inside scoop about DK Oldies and, you know, what's going on there. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of this guy. On YouTube, he is known as Jigsaw, and he I don't think he has once said what his name is in previous videos. And I say previous videos because... Uh, he had to delete the videos because somebody from an DK, it was a, probably a DK Oldies employee, uh, has, you know, given out personal information about this guy. Uh, so I'm just going to call him, like, just Jake Swore instead of, like, this guy. Um, anyways, so, yeah, somebody has been giving out uh, his personal information and, you know, he's had to delete some videos. One of them being the main video that I am talking about right now. Unfortunately, he doesn't describe why the prices are really high, but he does go into detail about why the uh, consoles are dirty when people open them up. As far as I know about Jigsaw, he was able to get a job at DK Oldies because somebody had overheard that you know he has a huge passion about old gaming, and you know they like hired him, took him in, and you know showed him the ropes, and so that worked out for a little bit, but then it you know hit rock bottom and now there's big problems i don't know if he was fired or if he quit uh but he just says that it is an awful place to work at and you know then he starts telling us well here's your answer to the dirt to the dirty consoles uh thing that's happening right now uh so his shipping manager was or like the shipping department manager uh told everybody that don't clean the consoles because I think he's, he said that he doesn't know exactly why or like what the reason was that was probably said or if it wasn't even said at all is because it took up too much time. They needed to get orders out like, like that. So the reason that they would open up consoles is if they shook it and they heard a rattle. And if there was a rattle, then you would either put the console back, grab another one and ship it out or open it up and uh you know get the rattle out and that's it you don't clean anything that's it that's all you do dk oldies does try to defend this by making videos on their dk oldies youtube channel uh the employees cleaning the consoles but that could be for show to like say like hey here's what we're doing but a lot of people are opening up the consoles and saying hey no that's not what you're doing uh and they do have a warranty sticker that they put over like a screw so you don't open up the console so you don't see because if you open up the console then you void the warranty and uh which i think is probably i want to say it's illegal but i'm not 100 percent sure i don't really know much about legal and illegal stuff so uh, i think that is a really bad thing to do is put warranty stickers on your consoles and uh you know nobody can see them if you void the warranty uh, so yeah, that kind of makes people worry. Uh, but now I think they have changed that to, uh, like a, pr like a proof of order. <laughs> I couldn't even think about it. Uh, but yeah, so it's like a proof of order that you bought it instead of like you know void warranty. And that is what this guy uh, Jigsaw has said along with his uh, fellow employees. They just called them warranty stickers. He then does describe the situation about the third party controllers and why people are having to pay for more control, like more money for a original controller and uh, why they're getting third party controllers in the first place. 
Um, that was something that I also wondered about because when you buy a console, like a new console, they give you at least one or two controllers. Uh, I mean, like this PlayStation Four that's you know right next to me, you know, it came with two controllers. Uh, but you know, if you have that many consoles, you have a lot of more controllers. And this is what he does describe. Uh, so they do have a huge like storage area that people work in to like try to like get the consoles and clean them and every or clean them. Um, but uh, he said that it is a complete mess and that it has taken them absolutely months to uh, organize, just organizing it. But anyways, back to the controller thing. He says that there are these huge boxes full of first party controllers and that is a scam to pay more money to get an original controller when they have an abundance of first party controllers. Uh, so I do think that is like a stupid thing to do and give out third party controllers. Uh, I did buy from DK Oldies years ago. Um, I bought a Nintendo whenever I first started collecting uh, old consoles. I did buy a Nintendo and I got the third party controller. And uh, unfortunately, the third party controller didn't even work properly. It may have worked, but like it was, you know, it was very like it would, it would take control of itself. Basically, it didn't work right. But uh Anyways, yeah, so uh, the third-party controller thing is really stupid. Uh, and also about the them not cleaning their consoles, I actually have never opened up my Nintendo, and it was covered in, like, grease or something. It was very slippery and, like, sticky. It was just, it was disgusting. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to clean it myself, and it, it turned out a lot to be a lot better after I cleaned it. Uh, so that was not the end of actually me buying from DK Oldies. I bought, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, no, I bought that somewhere else, <laughs> so, scrap that, I bought, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, from DK Oldies, um, and I think I bought Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Track Me off of eBay probably, um, but anyways, so, uh, yeah, uh, DK Oldies does not, did not clean that console that I bought. And that was the last time I've ever bought from DK Oldies because then I started realizing, hey, there are a lot better prices on eBay or Facebook or wherever you want to shop at. Uh, just try to find the right right deals and you know the right sellers. Uh, so back back to Jigsaw. Um, he starts to talk about the owner a little bit more. Um, you know how he is really like mean like he just like goes in there like anytime he goes in there he just goes in there to like make fun of them uh for jigsaw he just goes in there to uh, make fun of his long hair whatever uh you know <laughs> it's such a childish thing to do just make fun of some like another adult uh but uh yeah so that's basically what happens uh he doesn't really mention joey that much he does mention them but not like anything bad uh, just that Joey does anything that the boss says, like like a, as he says, like a a leash and a collar type of deal. Uh, just you know, is his little is his little dog. Uh, Joey is the little dog. Um, so yeah, that's that's really it, it about Joey. He kind of drags on the video a little bit more, talking about you know the consoles not being clean, controllers, and the owner. Um, so that was that that first video. Then he made another video about DK Oldies. Uh right not really talking about him saying like, hey, uh I've been busy and uh, I'll talk about DK Oldies a little bit more. I just gotta think about stuff that I haven't already talked about and then he will publish more. And so then we have a new video they posted today saying DK Oldies took it too far. And this explains that somebody from DK Oldies that he allegedly is from DK Oldies, uh Put out his information and that's why his uh comments are disabled as of right now um and he's just trying to like fight back a little bit uh so yeah that's basically it for our main protagonist jigsaw from what i can see on the dk oldies youtube channel like i'll watch their shorts i i do enjoy watching the shorts um but you know now they're starting to publish like videos uh or like taking people's videos and saying like oh yeah, these consoles are cleaned and everything. And they did, uh, they posted this uh, one video that this guy 
uh, reviewed of the console, saying like, "Oh yeah, this looks like really clean." And Joey's like, "Oh yeah, check out this guy. He says our our consoles are clean or whatever." Uh, but anyway, so the guy does open up the consoles and uh, says like, "Oh yeah, looks good." And then the video, and then you go into the comment section, and he even pinned like saying like, "Yeah, so I opened up the console. It was it was really dirty." <laughs> So, um, actually, I wonder if that video is still up. So, I just checked the DK Oldies uh, YouTube channel and looked at the shorts and see to see if the video was even still there. And uh, they took down this guy's order video that they had taken from his channel and uh, put on their channel. But, uh, yeah, so the guy uh, is XD Half Demon, uh, who is the, he's the, the guy who ordered the uh, Xbox and Nintendo 64. Uh, and he goes on and says, like, oh, yeah, it looks really clean, like, it, you know, whatever. It just says, like, it looks clean on the outside. Uh, but then he, do he does say, uh, so I did take apart the N64, and I am disappointed to say it is not, refer quote-unquote, refurbished. In my opinion, I will be releasing the video showing the console and discussing the issue. I had high expectations, so nobody is more disappointed than me to be wrong. And I guess after that, he uh, posted that comment on his channel. People were saying on the DK Oldies uh, video, saying like, "Hey, go to this guy's channel. He's saying that it wasn't clean. You can, you know, you know look it up yourself." Uh, but yeah, so it does look like that they took down the video. Uh, thankfully, this guy has kept the video up so that we can still see it. Um, so uh, yeah, that is really disappointing that DK Oldies is. You know, there's more stuff coming out about him saying like, you know, how it's awful. Not only is Jigsaw talking about DK Oldies with an inside scoop. But the owner of the uh, DK Oldies uh, company is re review, like releasing stuff like, by, like with himself. He's doing it himself. Uh, he uh, had a video that he had made about you know like going and seeing the people in DK like the like testing area and just like harassing them and you know, just being mean, saying like you know, hey, what do you have there? And the guy says, oh, well, you know, I have this. I bought it for like this three, like three dollars. And she said, well, this isn't a podcast. So you need to go back to testing your uh, stuff. And, <laughs> and he just goes like, so why do you have all this stuff here? Like, this is your area. And just anyways, uh, yeah, you can you can see the video that I'll, I'll link in, my, in the description. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah. So sorry to say that DK Oldies is now turning to crap. Um uh, yeah, that's about it.